All right friends, welcome back to another video on Laravel and Liveware. And in this video, I'm going to show you why this like functionality implemented using Liveware is slow and how we can fix this. Let me show you what I mean. Over here, there is a like button and once I click on this button and this number got increased and this button got changed into pink, right? But these changes are not instant. We need to wait for some time, right? Let me show you one more time over here. Let me click it again and we are not getting the instant feedback right it do not provide the great user experience so we need to fix this and to fix this we'll be using alpine.js and before we start fixing this directly let me show you one simple example using counter so that it will be easy for you to understand and then later we move on to fixing this so let's get started just a quick note that recently i'm working on one course called SPA with Laravel Liveware. So if you are interested in building single page application with Laravel Liveware, then go ahead and enter your email address over here so that you will get notified when this course is launched. And I will put this website link on the description. Go ahead and check that out. Now let's get back to the video. First of all, let me create a, a component called counter. So we can do PSP artisan make liveware. And the name of the component is counter okay counter component will create it and over here let me create a route for counter and the component class so let me import this and it got imported now let me go to slash counter let me press enter and currently this page is empty so let me go to counter.ladder.psv file and over here let's use our button component x button let's say liveware count say 5 okay and if i refresh it it is hiding over here so let's add additional classes flex justify center item center and head of the screen and press it and it is working right so let's make this workable by clicking this button let's increase the count we can simply do wire click and then prevent the default behavior and call the increment method so let's create this method on our counter.psp component class over here let's create a method called increment and then let's do dynam here let me refresh it let me click on this button and we call that method so over here instead of dynam let's create a public property called count and by default let's make this as 3 and we can increment the count using this count plus plus okay and once I click this button this is not increasing because we are not using this variable so let's go to counter.blade.psv file and instead of 5 let's use our variable called count let me refresh it again now once I click on this button this counter is increasing by one right so this seems somewhat instant but if we are wait on the slow network connections let me go to network tab and do slow 3g if i click on this button over here and we need to wait for some time to see those changes right and this will be slow if we implement similar functionality on this like button over here right we, ne we need to make instant so so let's try the same thing using alpine GS. so over here let me create another div and we can use the same button component and over here let's do alpine count and then let's say five okay let's create this div as alpine component using x data and then let's define our data 
let's say account is by default is 5 okay so instead of using 5 over here let's use a span tag and then let's do x text equals count okay now let me let me close this refresh the page and we see the all point count right currently it is not increasing so let's make this workable and on this button let's listen to the click event and we can call the increment method right so let's create this method over here so let me do increment series of one sun and on increment let's say allot i okay so let's indent this properly now let me save this refresh the page and click on this button and we see the alert call high okay so instead of doing alert let's increment the count using this dot count plus plus we press it and once i click on this button and it is incrementing the count so let me try this on slow network connection as well so 3g if i click this this is instant right because we are not sending any ajax request to the server this is all done on the front end so over here we are sending the ajax request to the server and getting back the response and we are updating those number and on the alpine side we are not sending any ajax request to the server we are just doing on the browser end so it is fast so over here let me show you how we can implement the live wire count using alpine js on the front end so we can implement same functionality over here as well once the user click on this button over here we'll increment this count using alpine js on the front end and on the background we will send ajax request to the server and update this count as well so let's try this so over here we need to call the increment method also we can call live wire increment method using simply wire and then increment right so let me refresh the page and if i click on this button currently this is five and this is three so let me click this it is six and this got updated as well right live wire count is also updating so we can implement same functionality over here as well so let me click this one more time seven and this is updating as well so let me show you on slow network connection as well so let me do slow 3g and let me click on this button this is updating instantly and this is also updating on the background and we see the output as well let me try one more time nine and it will update yes seven this is perfect so let's implement same functionality over here let me go to toggle like confession.blade.psv file and over here we are just using liveware so let's use alpine.js as well so first of all let's make this div as alpine component using x data equals and let's define our data um, let's say like count is confession likers count so let me use this okay so instead of using this let's do x text equals like count okay now let me refresh the page and it is working let me click this and it is increasing as well so the second step over here is instead of using wire click let's use alpine js and we can listen for the click event using add click and on click we can increment this like count right so let's do like count and then plus plus we will later use this inside of function so for now let me remove this from here and let me refresh the page uh, let me try this once i click on this and it is incrementing that count 
but here uh, we need to check if it is liked or not if it is liked we need to decrement the count and if it is not liked, then we need to increment the count right so instead of increasing the count directly from here let's use a function called toggle like okay and over here let's create that function called toggle like And then let's indent it properly. And over here for now, let's do a lot. Let me refresh it. And it is saying that unexpected syntax error. So let's fix this. I missed. Let me remove this. And then refresh the page and it is working so if I click on this and we see this alert okay perfect so instead of alert over here let's add a conditional so we need to check if it is liked or not so let's create another property called is liked and we can do indicated user has liked the confession so over here we can simply do if this dot is liked is true then we will decrement otherwise else we will increment the count okay so over here we will increment so let's write the code to increment and decrement the count okay so over here if it is like then this dot like count minus minus and if it is not liked then this dot like count plus plus okay so now let me refresh it and let me click this and it decremented the count and if I click again it is decrementing the count again right because we are not changing this is liked value after incrementing or decrementing so we need to change that is liked property value as well so to change that you can simply do this that is liked equals false will mark this as unliked and on increment we will do this dot is liked is true okay let me refresh the page and now let me click this and it is decrementing the count let me click this again it is incrementing the count which is perfect but we need to change this color as well right we need to change this to gray and then pink so over here we have done this using liveware so instead of doing this using liveware let's use all point zeros if it is liked if it is liked then we will display this text pink and otherwise we will display text gray okay so for that we can do simply do if it is liked if it is like then we will be displaying text being 600 plus otherwise we will display text gray 700 plus and let me remove this let me press and currently it is pink let me click this and it is great and the number is also decreasing which is perfect now one thing is this is this is changing so let's fix that default click behavior we can simply do click that prevent the default behavior so it will not scroll so let me try this one more time unlike yes it is not scrolling right this is perfect like yes it is increasing but let me show you one more thing 
over here we are not getting those numbers that is one issue so let's fix that as well so let let me open up the console so over here let me go to console and it is saying that unexpected token comma so over here is like is empty so let's fix that so to fix that let's do json decode over here so we can do json decode this value or we can simply use json directory as well so instead of doing this let's use json directory over here let's do json okay let's do the same over here as well so let me remove this json and then so now let me save this and refresh the page press it and we fix that issue so let me close this and we are getting zero for now so let me click on this button over here and it is increasing instantly let me click it one more time yes it is working but there is one issue let me do unlike and refresh the page and we are not updating our records on our database right because we are not sending any ajax request to the server to update these changes so for that we can simply use liveware and then over here we can call the another method called toggle like on our liveware component so to do that we can simply do wire dot toggle like and then let me refresh the page and let me unlike this and it is updating instantly but now if i refresh the page that data is saved on our database which is perfect so let me show you on slow network connection as well so let me go to network tab and then to slow 3g let me like this and it is instant and on the background we are sending the ajax bit page to the server so now if i refresh the page and this light is saved on our database which is perfect so this was for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this and till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one